Wow. That's crazy. Oh, you excited? I am excited. This is crazy. <laughs> Unbelievable. One day we can bring our kids here and be like, you know that? See that right there? Your pops did that. Or your moms did that. That's what being part of this project is about. It's like being at home. The star of tonight's game, Chase Center, hosting its first NBA basketball game. This is such an amazing day for our franchise. Everybody loves the Warriors. The Warriors is a household name. This Chase Center is going to be a household name. It's beautiful. <laughs> and it's going to be like the West Coast Mecca. This is more than a place where you play basketball games or listen to concerts. There's kind of a bigger purpose for this. This creates memories. This place has become a destination. It's just been incredible seeing the life of Chase Center really come to be. Our intention was to create not just a brick and mortar building, but a place to make us all dream. And I've thought about this for a long, long time. And I want it to be the greatest basketball arena ever built. You know, the Warriors have been the Bay Area's basketball team for 50 years, and today sets the stage for the Warriors to be our Bay Area's team for another 50 years. I actually had one interview with Joe Lakeman and Peter Guber for my job. I started listening to Joe and Peter talk about their vision for the Warriors. When they got to the part that was, we think we want to build a new arena, that definitely got my attention. The Warriors promise you an arena that you're going to be very proud of. We promise that it's going to reflect the creativity, the diversity, the technological savvy, and the passion of this Bay Area that the Warriors have called home for 50 years. With Mayor Ed Lee's support, the Warriors propose to have the privately funded arena on the waterfront on Piers 30 and 32. The question of waterfront development was a hot topic in San Francisco, so we got caught up in that. The Warriors began campaigning to get city approval for their new home when help arrived from an unexpected source. Lightning struck. Mark Benioff, the chairman of Salesforce, called Joe Lacob and said, I got an idea. The Warriors purchased 12 acres in Mission Bay from Salesforce, and they turned the page on their newest chapter. The privately owned land was the perfect fit for a new arena. We're getting our first look at the new Chase Center. It's the most modern sports arena. In but that the gets you to the starting line. That doesn't get you to the finish line. With all of that, the, the number of hearings were countless. The number of community meetings, countless. The number of agencies, still countless. But there was a path. On a bright January day, it was finally time to break ground at Chase Center. You know, I woke up this morning, I, I do what I've done every day for the last three weeks, is roll over, look at my phone, and make sure it's still on my calendar. Like, did I dream this, or are we really actually doing this? We got this note from Rick saying Peter and Joe and him want it to be big and different than anything else that they've ever seen before. And, and that's what groundbreaking was. I mean, it was dancing cranes to acrobats. Coach Kerr was there, the mayor. So just the, the best of the best. It was, it was incredible. Still the only groundbreaking ceremony ever to lead Sports Center. This dream is more than a venue of steel and cement. It will be both a beacon and a lightning rod, attracting the greatest artists. We are going to build a great, great venue that you can all be so proud of. You know, this is what they say, that uh, good things come to those who wait. You've been waiting since 2012. This is your moment. It was a great day because we got to start the process of actually building, but it was a 30-month process that led us to the real finish line.
first load of dirt, uh, first day of the Warriors project. There's lots of milestones in construction. You break ground, you haul off the first load of dirt, you put it in the first pile, you top out, you start your first you know, structure coming up. It's a huge operation and you just saw the first small piece of it today. Since January, we've been doing most of the uh, below ground work, excavation, installing the piles. This week, we actually poured the first permanent slab. It actually forms a portion of the Southeast Plaza and what we call the theater entrance. We are actually standing in the lobby of the theater entrance of Chase Center today, which is a thrill. This is the first time that we've been here. Everything that you see on the project that happens from now on is going to be things that every fan is going to experience when they're here. From here on out, everything's going up, and by this time next year, our roof will be going on and we'll almost be dried in. Your office is half built right now. Love it. So that's, uh, that's your area. It's actually perfect just the way it is. This four-sided box you're looking at, those are the two practice ones. Wow. What really stands out is just the feat of architectural genius behind all this. Think about putting it all together and the timeline, how many people have to put their heads together to make this work. An amazing feat. Long before we ever started construction, we knew that local hire would be important. It would be very important that the people who worked on this project as much as possible were people from San Francisco, that every aspect of the project would be populated by very Bay Area entities. See everything flying, you hear all the horns. As the years go by, I have got used to coming down here and working. This place had to represent the best of what the Bay Area had to offer. And the people who worked on the project were the starting point. The love, the community for the Warriors, we've always been fans. We always, even if they've been in Oakland, they were like our team, our, our Bay Area team. I respect and love that the Warriors are here right now because they open the doors for so many opportunities. Like myself, I come from right up the street. I come from Bayview where it's rough. I was born and raised in San Francisco, California. I've been in the trade since 2000. I was a carpenter for 10 years, and now I'm a laborer for four years. I was about 19. I just joined the uh, union, and uh, a year later, I turned 19, and I, I happened to have non-Hopkins lymphoma at stage four. So I had to immediately stop working and uh, within four days, get treatment. Hardest part from that was accepting it and uh, wanting more. A second chance is life is, is most people don't get. And uh, I, I happen to be blessed to get one second chance and been cancer free for the last nine and still going. Being part of this project with the Warriors, well, I'm pretty much the coolest mom right now. <laughs> We had as many as 1,600 workers a day working on building Chase Center. Maybe one of the most inspiring things about the whole project was just the opportunity to talk to the men and women who were building Chase Center. From the start of construction to the first seat installation, it was always about the people. This job, this is, when I finish here, it's gonna mean so much to me. The sacrifices, the hard work, the friends, the family I accumulated on this job. My kids love it. Now they can go and talk about, my dad worked at the Warriors, he worked at the Chase. And I'll be like, yeah, I worked there like a celebrity at their school. I'm like, uh, yeah, I worked there. <laughs> Today, more than lifting the beam, today's about celebrating all of you out there in those vests. Because this is your day. This is why we're here. It's our opportunity to say thank you. All right, you ready? 
So without further ado, five, four, three, two, one. Raise the beam. Knowing that I was a part of the construction makes me so happy to contribute. The fact that we built this place, it, it, I'm touched. I'm proud. My name is going to be here forever, you know? Um, the memories that I come with my children to see, all of that is uh, it's going to be etched into this project forever. It's more personal to me because this is, this is somewhere I will touch that's going to be here when I leave. And it's just like, you know, my son gonna be able to say, my dad built that. This was something that they could go home and talk to their families about every night and will always be a part of who they are, that they were one of the people that, that helped build this amazing thing that so many millions and millions of people are, are going to enjoy. This segment is brought to you by PG&E, proud community partner of the Golden State Warriors. Let's do some shopping. I have three brothers. You have three brothers? Have you got it. Give him, give him a jersey. Get a jersey. You got to just grab everything. Grab what you want. Me being in a position that I'm in today, I just want to try to give back as much as I can. You know, the kids had a great time in here. It means a lot to them. It means a lot to me. Um, I can tell the excitement, the joyness that it brought to them. Um, and, you know, that's, that's, what, that's what I get out of it, you know, just making you know, the next person happy, you know, that's, that's something that I kind of like pride myself on, just being like a good person, just trying to help out as much as I can. October 5th at 5.30, we'll be taking on the Lakers in the first preseason game at Chase Center. It'll be the start of some great things, you know, we're all excited. Uh, how you yeah. doing? Nice Very much. Pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That is nice. Wow, this is incredible. I'm kind of at a loss for words. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's amazing. <laughs> Been hearing about this Chase Center since like my first or second year, and like it's an actual thing now. And I'm excited. I keep walking through here saying it's nice. It's kind of it's giving me chills. It's your locker room. This is nice. Where would the TV and all of that stuff be? It's over here. All right. I will be right here in this corner. Perfect view. It's crazy. Are you excited? I am excited. This is crazy. <laughs> Unbelievable. We're approaching close to 100 days left until the contractor will turn the building over to us. So a lot of activity is underway to make sure that that happens and we're ready to go. We have work really going on about everywhere in the building. If you were to look in the bowl today at Chase Center, you'd see that about you know a third of the lower bowl seats are installed. We'll start installing the main center hung scoreboard at Chase Center. We're putting in the last seat today. Uh, it's incredible. You know, I was here, I put in the first seat, what, in January. I remember the ground wasn't even on the, on the ground yet. It wasn't even concrete yet. It really is beginning to, you know, look and feel and operate like the permanent final building. Here we are, journey that started seven years ago, and we've been watching the countdown clock, and the countdown clock is ready to turn to zero. The opportunity to take a month to fine tune everything about Chase Center, and then here we go. With that, the final touches were put on the Warriors practice courts. My name is Kurt Gadula, and I'm the owner of Court Graphics. We design logos and basketball courts, been doing it for years. It's the second basketball court I ever painted was the Golden State Warriors. Everything you see is all done by hand. We don't use vinyl, it's an art. Just months until opening night, the organization unveiled the practice courts dedicated to Warriors legend Alvin Adels. We had a very special moment in our franchise's history about three weeks ago when Al Adels was inducted 
into the Hall of Fame class of 2019. See, we've just built this beautiful new arena here in San Francisco. Uh, came back to where you started with the Warriors many, many years ago. We're announcing today that we are naming the two practice courts here, the Alvin Adels practice court to the BioFreeze Performance Center. After the finishing touches were put on the BioFreeze Performance Center, Warriors point guard Stephen Curry gave a behind-the-scenes tour to ESPN's Rachel Nichols. You guys are physically making this fresh start in San Francisco. Give me a little BioFreeze Performance Center <laughs> tour here. All right, weight room. Come to practice, get your work in, get your shots up, go get some treatment. Right over here is where we take the treatment up to another level with yep. our hydrotherapy room. So basically your cold tub, your hot tub, and then on the far end, you got your underwater treadmill. So basically you can step in here and as the treadmill starts to go, and you can run in place underwater. Over here, we got our own little barber shop in here. I heard, so if you I ever heard. need it, if you ever need a cut, don't go to don't go anywhere else. It's in this area. We would come to come get some food. We got our, our legendary chefs in the back. They've been taking care of us for many years now, so they made the move with us. Bert, how you doing? Good to see you. I'm gonna get the use. I get a little little pasta with a lot of different veggies and stuff, and then a little pan seared salmon on top. So, so you come out here, we got a little bit of everything. So this is yeah, this is the centerpiece. So this, there's some pretty cool discoverable pieces in this thing. And this is a floor from the 2015 championship, which obviously was the first one of this era. This is something that will remind us where we came from. It's gonna be exciting, and you know, these last five years have been truly special for us to hopefully get and enter this new facility and this new building the right way. I'm excited about that for sure. At last, the time had come. The ribbon cutting ceremony was finally here. What an incredible day. I really feel honored to be able to say for the first time in history, welcome to Chase Center. Not only will it rival any destination in North America, but any arena in the entire world. I want to acknowledge our friend and leader, San Francisco Mayor Ed Lee. It was Ed Lee who invited the Warriors back to San Francisco, and it was Ed Lee who called this his legacy project. Without Ed Lee, we would not be here today. Our intention was to create a modern day campfire, not just a brick and mortar building, but a place to make us all dream to be physically together, laughing, cheering, crying. Our basketball players, our staff, everybody that works for this organization is located in this building, one building. They work together. It's about teamwork. We're also welcoming you to the first day of what we're calling our year of discovery. The buildings are completed. A brand new journey starts today. With that, Chase Center was officially open. Things quickly got underway with a jam-packed first month of concerts and events. But the most anticipated event was yet to come. It's one thing to have concerts, but to have a real basketball game, to see how the place holds up to the scrutiny of fans and media, and it's gonna be a pretty amazing experience. The main thing is the main thing, and the main thing is the Golden State Warriors. The first month of opening Chase Center, we've been trying to get ready for Warriors basketball. I think there's 13 events in the first month, but we're working towards having the guys take the court for the first time. I can't wait for the first game, you know, just to feel the energy in the crowd and to feel what game night is going to feel like. Here in the locker room, setting up for the first game here at Chase Center versus the Lakers, pretty excited about tonight. Preseason is preseason for all of us, myself included. We are getting our routine down. Amazing new arena. It's unreal. We've been here 25 years, season ticket holders. You can sleep last night. We were so excited. This will be one of the biggest games because it's the first professional basketball game here since 1971. We traveled all the way from Alabama to be here for this game. From Baltimore, Maryland, always wanted to catch a game on the West Coast. 
it's history, right? I think you can feel the energy out as people are arriving. You can feel it when they're getting off the trains or arriving by ferry. And can't wait to get inside. We've had such great reviews from every artist that's been here. It's going to be even more wonderful when Steph Curry loves the building. You walk into the building and it is like that ah moment. You can already tell that this is going to be an experience. This is the beginning of Chase Center. There's going to be a lot of excitement. San Francisco, kind of the birthplace of these West Coast Warriors. I can't believe it. This is it. Seven years in the making. It's been so much work for so many people for so long. It's hard to explain to anyone what seven years of work feels like. This is a special place, moving over to San Francisco and to open this new arena. You know, it's only right that we open it up the right way. Audio's clear. Coming out in five, four, three, two, one. Kick it, roll it. The star of tonight's game. Chase Center, hosting its first NBA basketball game. Staff will never be more open. The atmosphere that we'll be able to create and, and our fan base helping us, it's going to be amazing. Over to Russell. Russell weaving, gets a dribble, all the way to the left hand, it's up and good. I think we can create some really cool memories here. This is more than a place where you play basketball games or listen to concerts. This creates memories. That's what this is about. It's about the memories and how that influences your life. And we're gonna be doing that here at Chase Center for generations to come.